Hey guys, Sean with American Window Concepts. Today, let's get in depth and talk about egress windows for your bedrooms and or basements. Okay, so if you um, are getting a quote um, or multiple quotes, hopefully, from vendors and you're looking to replace your windows in your house and you've come to a bedroom, there's a pretty good chance a word egress has come up. And what that is, is it's a safety um, code um, for you know building and safety codes in your city, your states, whatever. It comes down to this. Bedrooms, habitable, attics, and basements. If there's, if you have a basement in your house and you are living in it, you know, making it like a bedroom, then you have to have a way out. If you do not have like a sliding patio door, uh, like a single swing door that goes to the outside of your house, then you have to have a window that gives you an exit in case of an emergency. Let's talk about this for a second. What meets egress? You have to have a window that has a 20 inch minimum width when it's open or a minimum 24, actually, and. So it's minimum 20, minimum of 24 height. But you have to have 5.7 square feet because 20 inches wide, 24 inches tall is gonna get you three square feet. It's not gonna give you the 5.7. The other thing to keep in mind too is you can get a 5.0 square feet uh, window if it's like a single level house or it's the, the bedroom downstairs um, or below grade which is gonna be like an, a basement. The minimum, 20, height, 24. So I'll look at this window here, which is a slider. Now let's say this is in your bedroom. This is the size of a window that you have in a bedroom. And believe me, I've seen it. You look at this window and go, okay, first of all, let's see if this window meets egress. So what do you gotta do? You gotta open the window to its max, right? Is there anything stopping it? Let's get this little stopper out of the way here. We'll set this down and open this window as far as it will go, okay. So I'm measuring from the, this sash here to the frame. So I will take my tape and I'm going to see 17 and a half inches, okay? So 17 and a half, let's see what our height. So right out of the gate, we're not gonna meet egress. This window here is not gonna meet egress. It just will not. So this, this window option would be out. Now you'll look at this double hung window. And again, it's one or the other. Now this is going to be Let's go from the bottom because that's gonna be the easiest way to bail out, right? So this window here is about 32 by about 44 inches high. I mean, you're gonna see some windows like this, uh, maybe you know about 48 inches in a, in a usual bedroom, but on the other side of this screen, you have a frame here. We have to measure what it actually is. So we're gonna go from here to here, it's 27 and a half. Great, so we've met our 20. Now let's look at our height. Ah, 16 and a half. Well, we're just not gonna meet egress. So any building inspector is gonna come in, look at this and go, ah, you gotta replace this window. And you're like, oh, well that's bad news. You know, I've already paid a bunch of money for this or you're going to make the decision to buy new windows instead of putting a double hung or a single hung or a slider this size, what are you gonna use? Here's a casement. So this window here is what we would usually use in an older home that has like a double hung style of window in the bedroom. There's a lot of that out here. So what do we do? Well, let's take a look at a casement option. Okay, so we'll unlock the window, we'll open it, and let's see what this thing actually yields us. Okay, so as you can see, the entire window is opening. All right, so the window frame here, 32 and a half, so it's about the same size as this double hung here, 44. So it's the exact same, right? So let's take a look here at our opening. We have 24 inches wide. It's more than 20. So we're good, right? Let's see if it's 24 inches tall, at least. Well, it's 38 inches tall. All right, so let's, let's, let's get the math. Let's see what the math says. So I got my calculator with me. Let's find out how to find egress. Let's take our width, which is gonna be 24 inches. So let's punch in 24 inches times it's width times height in inches, and it is 38 inches tall. So 38 equals 912 square inches. And we're gonna go divided by 144. That gives us 6.3.
that's more than 5.7. So this window right here in a bedroom would meet egress. Then we're good. Now, the, the last thing we need to talk about is sill height. So some older houses have sill heights that are 48, 50, 52 inches high. If you're gonna pull a permit and you're doing a window job, that sill is not going to be up to code. They are going to want you to drop that sill height down to what? At least 44 inches. From the floor to the sill height, you cannot exceed 44 inches. So if your window height is at 52 inches, you're pulling a permit in a bedroom and you need to get egress, well, guess what? You're gonna have to drop that sill down to at least 44 inches, and then you will be within code. So this is going to be for bedrooms, all this that we're talking about. If you are, like I said, the single level, you can do five square feet. None of these windows here are gonna give us five square feet. This obviously will, but as long as your window is big enough, uh, the sliding system is, is large enough, at least, you know, 48 inches is great you know, uh, 44 inches height is great, and that'll give you at least five square feet, if not more. Um, you know, single hungs and double hungs, you have to have a much larger system. So I would say you could have a 36 inch wide, but you're looking at least 60 inches tall, 60 inches to give you that five to five, seven in your square footage. So this is what egress is. This is what the building inspectors are looking for. This is what the salesman or measure tech is talking to you about. Hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, you can always go to our comment section and ask away. More than happy to help. Thank you guys, have a great day. Hey guys, if you live in the Ventura or Santa Barbara area and you are interested in getting replacement windows or doors, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com. You can click on the get a free quote and fill out that information. I'll reach out to you within 24 hours. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you want to be kept updated on new videos that are coming out, just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.